Is it you? It's me. Hey, it's Gord. Uh, off my cuff. This time talking about medibles. Medibles, edibles, whatever you want to call them. There's just, it's probably the thing that's the most, most misunderstood and has the most myths around it that surround it. And I get tired of myths, and I like shooting them down. So I want to have a little talk about it. Cheers. Now, I'm going to start with the, the talk about how dispensaries, as the chief of Toronto's police department says, police service, they don't have labels. Well, here's the honey from MMJ Total Healthcare. 35 milligrams per teaspoon, 125 milliliters, hybrid oil. Even tells you where it comes from. Tells you to keep it out of the reach of children. Instructs you, this is medicine. Not only that. Okay, so first myth debunked with, with one. I know you can't take an entire generalization debunk it with a particular situation however this is common this is common that people know the doses that are on often uh, they're homemade products so the writing of it may not be too clear stuff like that because it's a it's a youthful industry but I want to talk more on that because as it said 35 milligrams per teaspoon. 35 milligrams, 25, I would say, is about a good first dose. 10 to 25. Full dose, 8 hours of pain relief, some high. 35 milligrams, a teaspoon, oh, maybe just about perfect. Maybe just about perfect. For me, with this honey, I take two teaspoons and I let them heat. So I get maybe about 100 milligrams. That's what I'm aiming for. I have found through trial and error that about 100 milligrams is the perfect dose for me for eight hours of pain relief. I just did my talk and talks about 20 minutes ago. The honey that I have in me hadn't hit yet then and my back was still hurting the walk hurt this honey is now taking its effect and my body is warm and the pain in my lower back and just under my rib cage is mellowed and calmed it's not it's not shooting it's not banging it's not hurting it's just there and in the background ooh, thunder nice to always hear that Anyway, so what I want to get at is about dosing and the amounts. Dosing and the amounts, when it comes to honey, 70 to 100 milligrams, beautiful, perfect. When it comes to my own homemade medicine, less, 65, 70 milligrams, seems to be stronger. Harder to figure out your own dosage when you're making your own medicine you have to estimate it out. If any of you want to know how to figure it out, I'll do my best to give you kind of my own formula, but that's the thing, there's no standardization yet. And when it comes, most even home cooks will live up to standardization and be able to report on it accurately. But let's go further into the actual testing. Does anybody really understand how much and how expensive it is to test products and they would rather hold a product back from the ultimate consumer which remember the ultimate consumer we are talking about the guy who's who i just reported is suing toronto a patient suing toronto city for a million dollars for stopping his supply of the only medicine he could have that is not sold by the LPs, the only legal method, because the Charter of Rights and Freedom lets him. Uh, 
people don't understand the dosing yet and when you but the but us us the the patient we understand our dosing we're the early guinea pigs in a world of a safe medicine i would understand if this new medicine that was coming out old medicine being refound had severe side effects then wow wow don't let it get to the public before it can be vetted and have appropriate controls but when the worst that happens to you in taking too much of a medic medical is bath and sleep maybe laying down for a while and feeling a little dizzy it'll happen the pain won't be there while that happens but it's not dangerous and those people who bring those up just like I brought up this they can say few and far between few and far between People don't overdose on on medical marijuana ever. They may take too much. That's not an overdose. And too much gives you the green out, makes you go to sleep. But more about the dosing is when I look for having a medical in my system, I look for something that will be the appropriate strength for me. I know my system. Most medical people do. If you are brand new to medibles, there is a myriad of resources, both in YouTube and the dispensaries. Believe me, call, call Tweed, call Tilray, call any of them and try to get a discussion even about it, and you won't. But call a dispensary and they'll say, oh, you're brand new? Okay, well, we have a few products that you might want to try, like... 35 milligram T THC uh, Keef pills, you know, they will discuss it out with you. It's an, it's in, it's an industry in its infancy, and we are the willful people. Yes, in an industry like that, there are those who want their hand held all the way through. Help me buy my product help me not take too much help me take the exact amount all that kind of stuff this industry isn't at that level yet but those of us who need the relief are willing to take the small risks very small risks that come with once in a while i'm not knowing anything except for it's appropriate for us but also let's talk about thc testing there's a misnomer out there. One, a lot of you think that Tilray and Tweed report accurate figures. They don't. They've been debunked. Their THC seems to be the, what they report, seems to be the high end of anything they test. But let's get testing. Let's talk reality about testing. Sorry about the way I'm sitting, I hurt. The reality of testing is you can only test, you take some of a harvest and you send it to be tested and they take a little piece of it and they test it. And that is, and that's expensive and that takes time. And when it comes back, it is applied to an entire harvest where have they picked the right bud to represent that harvest and every single bud will test somewhat out within a couple of THC points even. So testing is not a beautiful science yet. It is not a cheap science yet. And it does not happen to every single delivery. When you buy something, you are especially when you're buying it online, you are assuming an average content. And people aren't saying, oh, that one's 19, this one's 18. I won't buy the 18 one, I want the 19. That isn't happening. That is not happening. People look for averages, ranges, 
excuse me and they also look for things like strength concentrated forms things like that so don't believe like when somebody said oh don't you hate it when you take a whole handful of those jelly beans and by the time you finish your handful then you realize those were the medicated ones because that doesn't happen that doesn't happen first of all if you can find medicated jelly beans and they're you you're only going to buy a few you won't have a jar full of medicated jelly beans just sitting on a counter and if you do shame on you first of all you got way too much money second of all you got way too way too few uh, way too many hamsters jumping around in your brain and not enough brain cells so I doubt you have that much money so I again call bullshit on the situation when people have Medicaid gummies they don't have a hundred gummies sitting in a jar that people could accidentally take too many of if they're 100 milligrams per gummy they have one or two gummies if they're 20 milligrams per gummy they might have five or six let's look at reality and let's all calm down let's have another toke and let's chill with the hippie because yes there is an exception to every rule for rule there's a rule to every exception there's an exception to every rule but that doesn't mean it's the normal the normal is people know their limits people know what they need to know to get around in the medical world as it exists right now and it will improve it will change but currently we should not restrict the people's right to the medicine because the laws haven't caught up to us yet peace and cheers Love and harmony. Keep chilling.